Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shell, Donksterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome back to a theme park news update. This is from the brand new under construction Dubai Hills Mall and we have news on a brand new roller coaster, a brand new indoor roller coaster set to come to the complex. Now before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Please subscribe, ring the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question to get closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So let's have a look at the stats and what we know about this new coaster at the Dubai Hills Mall. So, in terms of little bullet points and little uh, notifications that we took from this article uh, we know that we are going to see a decent sized indoor coaster attached to the side of the new Dubai Hills Mall currently under construction now what we do know the mall is well underway and the coaster would sit in some sort of circular impression in the sand to the eastern edge of the mall building doing a little more research we found some stats as to what this could be so the dubai hills indoor coaster consists of an enclosed in brackets approximately 50 meter tall 45 meter diameter tower facility connected to the dubai hills mall the facility includes a multi-vehicle coaster consisting of a 48 meter vertical launch and approximately 700 meters of track the roller coaster cylindrical building is integrated with a two story attraction fit out within the mall, comprising of additional amusement facilities, food and beverage, retail, ticketing, and queuing. Now, judging by that description, so looking at the stats then, so let's, so looking at that again, 40 meters vertical launch, 48 meters, that is 157 feet. 5.764 inches exactly. Big shout out to Google for bringing up that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, looking at that, so 157 foot vertical launch. Now, the height of Wicked at Lagoon is 110 feet. Now, the length of Wicked is 2,050.5 feet. Now, the track length for this coaster is is 700 meters of track now 700 meters in feet is 2296 feet now what now from that description someone said on a forum uh, on the coast force forum matt n shout out to matt n if you're watching this video um this could possibly suggest that this could be a ziera tower launch coaster similar to wicked at lagoon now, while I've been reading those stats, I'm going to st speak about the concept art a little bit later, but it looks beautiful. I hope you agree. And basically, yes, yeah, so the possibility of a Ziera Tower Launch Coaster could be imminent. Now, obviously, with that vertical launch description and the track length description, it would mean it would be taller and faster than well taller and longer and presumably faster than Wicked. Now, whether it has an inversions we still don't know now we're not even confirming if it's a Ziera tower launch coaster or not but judging by that description i agree with matt n's theories in coast force forum i think it will be it could potentially be a Ziera tower launch coaster similar to wicked at lagoon in utah uh now a Ziera tower launch has been getting all right reviews not gonna lie uh however maybe it's not a Ziera tower launch maybe it's something like a gerslauer like a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster or a Eurofighter or maybe some kind of um, different model by a different manufacturer. Maybe Intamin's gone in with the with the Beyond Vertical Drop Coasters. So, you know, we don't know exactly what this could be. I think the biggest speculation right now is the Ziera Tower Launch Coaster. I, I, I saw something on that same forum about a Polar Coaster but I, I, or something like, or like, like not the obviously the height of a Polar Coaster but you know, like the same style of ride as a polar coaster. I personally think that won't be the case. I think that uh, some kind of obviously we can't call it a polar coaster because it's not like 500 plus feet. But that kind of style of coaster, I don't think that would be the case because personally, I feel like uh, they're going to save that style for bringing up the polar coaster model. 
Uh, so I think that Zierra Tower Launch Coaster is the main prediction in my opinion, and I think a lot of people may start to predict this as well. Uh, I think if it's taller and faster than Wicked, uh, maybe that makes Wicked uh, seem a bit obsolete in the park. Obviously, Laguna have still got Cannibal, uh, which is like a similar manufacturer, I believe, to Wicked, or it's I think it's like manufactured by ART Engineering or something like that. So, you know. Uh, it's very it's very similar in track design to Wicked and the Ziera Tower Launch Coaster model. Uh, however, it obviously it's a different manufacturer from what we know. So maybe they could go along the Cannibal route and go with a different manufacturer. But it looks kind of like the same as Wicked's track design. We don't know at this point. But let's just reference that concept art, shall we? How beautiful does that look? How beautiful did that look? It is such a beautiful concept, and I was talking about this with the the people that I was working with on the Thrill Central Coasters and Toasters podcast yesterday, um, and they all agree it's a beautiful building, and I said to them, you know, it's definitely something you'd see out of Dubai, so I think definitely, in my opinion, it's going to be a beautiful mall and a beautiful side building for this coaster. Um, obviously, with the cylindrical building and the cylinder-looking building, does you know with that polar coaster style design but not the height of a polar coaster so that style of coaster again that would be realistic for that type of building if it's going to be in the cylindrical building however i think that a Ziera tower launch could still be a good option now obviously it's set to be fully enclosed um so we know it's going to be you know in that cylindrical building maybe it takes the space of a building that's you know the building that's attached with it um, that it's attached onto so you know there's real possibility here that they could use part section of that building that's attached to as well we don't know the length of this coast well obviously we know it's 700 meters of travel we don't know the exact layout of this coaster so once we get any plans about how the coaster is going to look then we'll get an idea on manufacturer type of ride uh, what could be included what certain elements in the planning design could be known as whether it's an inversion or an airtime hill or you know different variations of things and elements uh, so we'll get a better idea of what's coming to this mall uh, this brand new mall in Dubai when the plans for the coaster start being revealed in public so uh, obviously we'll get a better idea then but in my personal opinion I think we are looking at either a Ziera tower launch coaster like Wicked or a different version of that something along the lines of Cannibal uh, again at Lagoon, so I think they, I think Wicked or Cannibal, we're looking at either one of those types of rides for this park. Uh, this, this mall, it feels weird not saying theme park or park. It's weird saying mall. Uh, but thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update on the Dubai Port Mall Park Mall coaster. Very difficult to say, and um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what this is going to be when it's open. So thank you very much, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shal. Keep learning the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.